What's going on guys, Apex Gamer 2020 here, coming at you with another Hunting Call of the Wild video. In today's video, we're, we have to go visit an outpost, we're going to hike our way over there, it's about a mile away. And we're going to shoot whatever we can see on the way there. And let's get to it. Now, this is actually a new um, DLC that's been added to the game. This is Silver Ridge and Peaks DLC. You guys, saw, If you guys watched the intended stream video with me and Alex in it, this is the map that we did. And real quick, I want to show you guys this, unless it doesn't show up by session base. So shortly after we ended that video, I found a bunch of bites in that charged after me. And it was my trusty 300 we did we used. And this is not what I was looking at. Looking for Hunter. That's the hunting log history. Latest harvest. So we had a bunch of bison that had charged after me. And I, again, these are all bison that charged me. And I ended up shooting them one after another, after another, after another. And I found actually shooting them all like this too. I actually found a great spot to hit them. It's like in front of the shoulder, just at the base of the neck. It's actually a good place. So at least the 300 wind mag it is. But anyway, so there you can count them up. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19 bison that charged me. And I ended them all. That was a pretty profitable day. But anyway, guys, so then I just got to see that. I really wish I had caught that on film, but that would have been pretty exciting. But then you can see the proof that it did happen. <laughs> well, we're going to kind of make our way around here. We are using the same weapon holding now as the one that took out all 19 of those bison. As soon as they get one set up too, guys, you will uh, get a first-hand look at my trophy lodge, but I don't actually have one even created as of yet. Oh, there's a turkey. Speaking of the devil, there's a turkey right there flying away from us. I don't think I'd be able to hit it. Oh, look at that. There's a turkey. I wonder if I could hit it with my handgun. Something else pretty close by to us. Oh, right there, I see it. So that looks like a just regular deer. That's a hit. So we'll head over there and go see if we can find some blood. Now these are the polymer tips or the filtration type bullets, so I'm wondering if we hit a vital organ. It does not appear that we did. No organs hit. So fortunately it probably just grazed them. Whatever it was, it ran over this way. I think it was a female pronghorn. That's what it looked like. If it didn't hit a good hit, guys, and it's not bleeding heavily, we're not, we're not really going to waste our time on it. Um, let's see here. Yeah, we're new, I guess we're not going to waste too much of our time on that right now. We're just going to make our run for the outpost that we have to visit. And kind of enjoy the environment on the way over. Oh, this I guess it's... thought I heard something coming up at me. Oh, it's a woodpecker. You can hear the ambient, whatever. That's pretty. It's pretty decent too. I should have used the 300, but that's too much for that little animal. Yeah, I guess not. All right, then screw it. I swear I heard on the weeds with me. Probably shouldn't sprint though. I should probably just kind of walk it out. Now this is going to be kind of difficult to shoot in. Uh, this is a lot of brush, but you know what saving grace of that is? It can take the sight off our weapon. And the 3030 was actually designed 
as a brush gun. So a lot of times with high velocity bullets, if they hit like uh, brush or stuff like this, weeds and whatever, the bullet will disintegrate and won't usually reach your animal. But the 30-30 round was actually designed to go right through the brush and hit your target. Okay, so we'll just get our binodes out here and see what we can see. I don't see anything ahead of us. So I'm not really sure how exactly to keep these videos entertaining. So I'm basically the idea for now is to just kind of set a goal and hunt our way to the goal. So, I mean... <laughs> Such a nice environment out here. Oh, it's a turkey. Really, you landed right there? Alright guys, we just bagged us a turkey. Okay, so let's grab our bird. Pretty nice bird. That's actually a very good shot. Wow. That's a bronze medal. I don't really see anything else out here. But that's why I like 3030 is, is the iron sights are great. You know, one thing that Alex mentioned to me too that I think is pretty neat, I believe he did in our intended stream video. Like, if, you really, if you're just kind of in the woods and you hear that woodpecker, it kind of sounds like the predator is hunting you. Um, let's see, I don't see anything else down there. We're going to get our 20,000 steps in this guy just by sprinting the rest of the way there. So I don't want to make these videos too, too long because, again, I'm not sure, you know, about keeping them exciting or entertaining. There's not really much to this game, to be honest. It's just really just, you got to be an avid hunter to enjoy the game. you got to be one of these kind of people that just love the environment, love the ambient sounds, love the sounds of the, and looks of the weapons, love the animals that you're hunting. And overall, it's, you know, this has got to be your kind of game in order for you to really enjoy it. Now, we still have quite a ways to go, so what we're actually going to do is we are going to jump on an ATV. We're going to place down our tent. We're going to access our cache. And we're just going to drive an ATV, to ATV over there, guys. Because otherwise, we're almost 10 minutes into the video now. I don't want to bore you guys with a bunch of chitter or chatter and running around. But again, if that's something that you guys don't mind, then let me know down in the comments. Alright, let's get it rolling. Now, in case you guys didn't know, this these four wheelers actually do have a damage gauge. 
And if you damage them too badly, they actually do kind of fall apart and blow up on you. Oh! Look at that environment, just that sunset, the overcast. It's absolutely beautiful. They, the makers of this game did an amazing job on it. Oof, there's a log. Now these things like to spin out on you too. I actually kind of like hunting these wooded areas. Just kind of walk around casually and carefully and just get a brush gun out. Oh, the boy. And you just kind of lob rounds down range until you hit your target. And there's still constant, there's still some planning to do it. There we go, guys. There's a plane bison right in front of us there. A couple of them. There's a bunch of them, actually. So we're going to go ahead and get up here quick. And here we go. Here's our objective. We are going to... Well, actually, I could have fast traveled here, to be honest. But then what would the point of the video be, you know? The supplies should be laid out. Ready for you to pick them up. Alrighty, guys. So in a later video, we will continue on with this. I, again, I just want to keep these there. videos to about 10 there or so minutes. Just to avoid staying bo or getting boring. So stay tuned for more, guys. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.